I had been working in Albany for a number of years before I first knew about the Pride Center. I had been involved with a number of different boards and around 2005, 2006, I was at a place where I was looking for an organization to be involved with. And so I became interested and started going to different things that the center offered. It gave me the opportunity to really see how the Pride Center worked. And so I just felt like it was the, you know, really strong confidence that I could bring something to the board. It was a really rewarding journey for me. Um, I never knew when I started what would lie ahead, and, but being part of it, I realized that I was part of a really strong organization with a lot of history and um, and that I wanted to be part of that. So one of my fondest memories of the Pride Center was marching at the front of the parade um, for the first time and the exuberance that I felt in being part of the board and leading off the parade. Walking, walking down Lark Street Jerry and I with our granddaughter in the Pride Parade, and I guess we must have been three. And that, it was just, it was just fabulous. This year, not being on the board, standing on the sidelines, and when the board came down the street, I just thought to myself, "Wow, I will miss that." I think that the. The future for the Pride Center is um, a bright future. I think we are at a time when issues related to the gay population are in the public purview in a way that they've never been before. I mean, they, I, you know, I think that gay is really the new normal. Being a recipient of the Libby Post Award is just beyond thrilling to me. It's just wonderful to be recognized for the work that we do with a nonprofit organization, and in particular to have that recognized by my colleagues from the board is just so rewarding and so thrilling to me. It's just beyond belief.